backing up a system and individual files. In this video, we will show you how to create a backup of a system to an external drive, a file backup to the Acronis Cloud, and email backup to Network Attached Storage or NAS. How to create a backup of my system. We recommend creating a full backup of your system first to have a complete recoverable image in the event of disaster, such as data loss, accidental deletion of critical files or folders, or a complete hard disk crash. Start Acronis True Image 2014. From the Backup and Recovery tab, click the Disk and Partition Backup command located on the toolbar. Ensure your system partition, usually C, and the system reserve partition, if any, are selected as the backup source. To backup more than one partition, check their boxes in this list. If the disk has several partitions and you want to backup the whole disk, click Switch to Disk Mode in the upper right corner and then select the Disks checkbox. To return to the partition selection, click Switch to Partition Mode. By default, True Image will select an optimal backup destination. We recommend saving your backup to an external hard drive. If you choose an internal drive as a backup destination and that drive is damaged or destroyed, your data may be unrecoverable. Click Disk Backup Options to configure your backup plan. For more information, see the video Backup Options. Scheduling is turned on by default for all backups. To turn off scheduling, open the Scheduler window. Click the Turn On link to the right of Schedule while configuring the backup. Clicking the Do Not Schedule button turns off the scheduler for the current operation only. This means that the backup or validation will run only when you click Backup Now or Validate Backup respectively in the main window. Remember. The first full backup version is the most important. It is also the biggest one because it contains all data stored on the disk. Once your full backup is complete, the validation feature can assess the resulting file for any issues which may compromise recovery. Select the backup you wish to validate from the Backup and Recovery tab. First, click the gear icon, then Validate. If validation completes successfully, your backup file is not corrupted. The validation results are displayed just below the backup event record. How to create a file backup to a Cronus Cloud. Cronus Cloud Online Backup Service. The Acronis Cloud is a secure, remote storage facility used for housing a copy of your data in a secondary location for complete data protection in the event of disaster. All you need is an Acronis account and an active subscription. When you back up to the Acronis Cloud, you can rest assured that your most important files are safe, secure, and recoverable when needed. Because your files are stored in professionally managed data centers, they are protected even if your computer or hard drive is stolen, damaged, or destroyed by natural disaster. To use the Acronis Cloud, all you need is an Acronis account and a subscription to the Acronis Cloud Online Backup Service. From the Backup and Recovery tab, click File Backup. This opens the File Backup window. In the Source area, Specify which items to back up by selecting the corresponding checkboxes. You can include or exclude file categories as well as individual files and folders matching your specified criteria. Select a Cronus Cloud as the backup destination. Click the Backup Now button to run backup immediately. The first online backup may take a considerable amount of time to complete depending on your internet service provider's connection speed and the size of the first backup. Future backups will be much faster because only incremental changes will be transmitted. You can browse and recover data that was backed up on Acronis Cloud at any time. After the Files tab on the Acronis Cloud website opens, you will be able to choose which files and folders to recover. How to create an email backup to Network Attached Storage or NAS. 
A Cronus True Image 2014 can back up messages, accounts, and settings from Microsoft Outlook 2003, 2007, 2010, 2013, Microsoft Outlook Express, Windows Mail, and Windows Live. From the Backup and Recovery tab, click Other Backups and then select Email Backup. In the Source area, specify which items go back up by selecting the corresponding checkboxes. To change the default destination, click Browse and select your NAS drive. If you cannot find your NAS device by name, please use the IP address from your NAS device instead. If the device is not listed, click Browse at the end of the list and enter the Uniform Naming Convention or UNC path. If your NES device requires credentials to connect, click Enter Credentials and enter in your username and password. If there are no custom credentials set for the NES, you will need to use the defaults. Please check your NES documentation for the default credentials. If the credentials are correct, you should see a Connection Established message. Please note that you will have to specify your Windows account name and password for security reasons. Click the link to the right of schedule and set the required schedule if necessary. Click the Backup Now button to run the backup immediately. Thank you for watching.